Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Janosz. I'm a concept artist. I work currently in games. And welcome to the second Draw Along Draw With Me session. Currently, I am on my path on discovering the endless possibilities with ink. So I'm filling a sketchbook only with ink right now. This looks very messy. I have tons of messy drawings, but nevertheless, I will not give up because I already feel improvements and this makes me really exciting and today is another draw along draw with me together session so feel free to grab a drink or grab your sketchbook grab a pen um, whatever medium you prefer and let's get going and let's start drawing so after the first session got received so well i decided yes that's a great format um, because i can do drawings i can draw i can maybe also help people to get going with drawing. So the whole purpose of these videos are really to make you draw, to show you that it's actually easy to start your day with drawing. It rains outside uh, here in Berlin. So best conditions to draw, if you ask me. Let's jump right into it. Of course, I draw stuff from imagination. So probably stuff I've drawn the last couple of days. And I start also with the liner because, yeah, brush pen is, I definitely feel like there's a difference if you go with the liner first and then with the brush pen or the other way around because the liner is definitely a little comfort boost. And you can draw a bit faster also as well. Yeah, and again, these videos are not have not the purpose of um, making pretty drawings or sh like, yeah, like not stressing. It's about start to draw, start to getting into it, the groove. Because what we want, we want to draw every day, right? We want to improve our drawing. We want to fill the sketchbook. And filling a sketchbook has also a lot to do with your own expectations or expectation management. I think the biggest reason why a lot of people have trouble filling a sketchbook is because their expectations on themselves is too high. They expecting too much. And if it doesn't go the way it should go, then they get discouraged, they stop. And uh, yeah, I think that's definitely something you should try to be aware that there's not an expectation on you from the outside, it's only from the inside. Thank you. 
And right now I'm really not thinking. <laughs> I'm just, just let my hand do everything, let my hand flow. And it's maybe not always the best thing, but for the first drawing page, yeah, why not? Why not let the hand flow, let the mind relax. Again, we talked about that, about relaxation when it comes to drawing last, in the last session. Because what you want to do is, yeah, you want to, so to speak, calm down as much as possible, make your breathing super slow. To make sure that everything becomes one unit, so to speak. We can add stuff, we can, we have the freedom of everything, we can do whatever we want. We don't need to force ourselves to make any yeah, pretty drawings or whatever, it's just about Getting our mind ready. And I messed up the drawing already like five times, but I don't mind. I'm just not thinking about it. I'm just following the flow. Thinking about how things maybe look. So I'm thinking about this guy maybe sitting somewhere. No reference or anything, just imagining how that potentially could look. Thinking about maybe he has a back or something.
again, I'm just drawing stuff from how I remember things I've drawn before. And it's, I would say that there's no need of things that they have to be like super precise uh, in a way. I think even Kim Jong-ji said that he only remembers like 80% or something. what he draws maybe he sits in the in the water or something there's a river can't imagine he's sitting on an edge of his feet in the water or something. Do another one. I don't want to give him eyes. I like it. it. Looks like he's blind or something. He's blind and he's feeling, maybe he's feeling the runes. Right. There are certain runes here. He's feeling the runes. Maybe he found his axe. And let's try to let's try to fill the page in a certain look. So let's like this is our first drawing here. So let's think about we have this space left and we want to fill it in a nice in a nice way. So maybe adding something like a big round shape here or Thinking about if we would add a face or add another figure here, that is something like a like a comic book cover, you know. I really like to do that, so I also practice composition and layout a little bit more. Um, but the topic itself, it, it doesn't matter at all. Um, let's okay, let's see.
maybe when he was younger he could see Also, the last couple of days I've looked a lot at um, Mobius drawings, his ink work, his blueberry. I'm a huge fan of Mobius, such an inspiration and um, also the way he uses the lines and the efficiency, like doing little dots and stuff at certain areas. This is so, so pleasing to look at and it gives you such and like so much possibilities it feels like you can basically draw everything with that if you just indicate it right so i'm um, yeah i'm really looking a lot of stuff also if you follow me on instagram you maybe see that i like from some of the ink drawings i posted some of them are basically um just drawings studies copies whatever you call it from his drawings just to understand his, um, the way he's drawing, you know. Yesterday evening I really had this moment of asking myself, do I get worse <laughs> with drawing? Because I had such a bad drawing day yesterday. Um, but I think it's also this is just things that, that happen to you once in a while here and there. Questioning your process, questioning everything. You know what, let's do a Mobius type of drawing. Let's see if I can recall that. Um, okay. Okay, let me think, how do I do that? Um, okay. Thank you. 
And again, if you have trouble building a sketchbook, or you wanna, you ask yourself why you can't fill the sketchbook, then it's really your expectations. You're expecting only good drawings. Imagining it like this, think about no one would ever see your sketchbook or the other way around. Who say that every drawing in a sketchbook needs to be perfect? Where is that written? Who made up that rule? No one. It's your own expectation on you. You expecting from you the best, which is okay in a way, but on the other side, this it is also, yeah, it is also can lower your creative self-esteem. That's not good. You need to be able to, to draw every day, to, to have fun drawing. It's about the fun. It's about, it's about creating. It's about the flow of drawing. What is a good drawing? Who cares? It's all subjective. Oh, recording stopped. I had to repress the button. can't take people serious who have such an ego when it comes to making their art because man you just do art you just draw pictures it is so subjective like one person like your art the other one maybe don't like it and like why should it stop you then from doing what you do right so what I want to say is basically to yeah just lower your own expectations on yourself because then you have the freedom of the world to create whatever you want and i believe that people like mobius he i mean of course he, he was incredible but he also was free he was free of any strict conventions in its head that he would say okay um, I need to draw it like this because people like it like it is or the, the other way around I think that's really nonsense it's really about freedom expressing yourself and having no expectations and then you can fill a sketchbook you will see maybe the first 50 pages will be messy and like you think these will not be your best drawings oh, i have to lean over more to see this here see i just draw over it again i don't mind i mess up the proportion I'm just, I'm just free. I just do what I want in my own artistic world. And you should too. You should don't. Don't think about what Instagram want to see. Don't think about what you should do or what you should not do. Just follow your gut feeling, follow the, the need of creation, the believability in yourself and yeah. And then you don't even need artistic confidence anymore. People talk about artistic confidence, but you don't need that. 
you're just here to create and who cares if you have one million followers on Instagram or if you sell your stuff in galleries or not or someone else is doing it Just having fun. I'm so happy, so thankful. I'm sitting here on a Sunday in my living room and I freaking draw in a sketchbook all day. It's raining outside, it is warm in my room. I have food, I have coffee. I'm learning from Mobius while I basically try to draw like him. Like he's here with me. Basically filling up that page with joy. Let's do a bigger one. The question is, do I have enough place for this? Okay. As I understood it correctly, Mobius, um, and I only have this information from a documentary I saw, and which I highly recommend, which is also on YouTube, and I have seen this documentary a lot of times. Um, he basically took a, uh, I think, a famous French actor as an inspiration for his character in Blueberry, and the guy had a broken nose. And that's why all his blueberries have these flat broken nose which is really interesting <laughs> and it's a very iconic trademark if you ask me okay.
so I think I will try to learn still as much as I can from Mobius. I will not stop doing basically analyzing his mark making, his flow lines, everything. Because I believe there's so much so much stuff to learn from and tons of artists learn from him and I think he's really one of these masters um, also very timeless masters Feels every line from him is basically following some sort of flow, like these 10 second drawings. It's basically you could do the drawing very, very quick. Are you drawing right now? I know I'm already quiet down because I'm in my head. I'm thinking about what the characters might thinking the person. If is he's angry? Is he thinking? Is he flinching? Some, draw something from my imagination, I take something from Mobius and I try to apply that. If it's mark making, if it's the way he's um, using indication. Of course I make, I draw a bit slower because I want to make decisions. 
if you draw very fast sometimes you are a bit too quick with your decision making looks in that direction and he's like, oh, I don't know what to think about that. Definitely he's not amused. So what we can do now, maybe we can do a little bit of um, line weight, just to make sure that we have clear overlapping, um, and then call that page done, I would say. Also we can add a little bit of more detail here.
And I, what I definitely already learned is with ink is less is more. If you're someone who uses pencil, you will realize very quick that you don't need so many strokes with ink. And again, if you have trouble filling a sketchbook, I'm telling you, this is why you can't fill a sketchbook. Why you have trouble filling a sketchbook is your own expectations. Lower your expectations. It's all about expectation management when it comes to filling a sketchbook with drawings. Don't think about what you should know and what you learn and how good you should be. Yada yada, blah blah blah. Who cares about all that nonsense? Just care about. I want to draw today, so draw today. That's all you should care about. Even if you have a day, I had this day yesterday. That you had a bad drawing day. You will also have bad drawing days. Everyone has bad drawing days. Everyone. I bet even Kim Young Ji has bad drawing days. We things like ah, oh, nothing is going as I want to today. That's totally fine, we are all human. We have, we are not robots, not machines. To turn the page a bit just to get the line weight here in. And I'm just going over with the same pencil. Also, if you want my pencils, um, links are in the description. So, the type of sketchbook is also in the description, everything in the description. Okay, I think, I think uh, I call it a page. That was a good page. I like it. So I hope you liked this draw along session with me. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram, as hit the subscribe button here, also on the YouTube channel. Otherwise, see you in the next draw along session and I wish you a lot of fun drawing and expressing your own artistic journey. So see you soon, take care, ciao, ciao.